Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the adventures of Nazim al Ashabab. Seen here hanging out in the court of Queen Akarithi. And last time we accepted a quest from the Queen to eliminate an orc shaman. Our understanding is that this orc is genuinely very problematic. In other words, they're not just being targeted out of bigotry or anything else like that. So hopefully we are not mistaken in that assessment. In any case, I should also report that I have updated my version of Daggerfall Unity, and I've also been experimenting a little bit with the possibility of adding more mods, although for now, I'm not doing that. In fact, if anything, I have slightly reduced my list of mods. I'd considered adding simple 3D trees, but this room would be one example of a place that becomes slightly messed up if he has the simple 3D mod installed. Uh, simple 3D trees mod, that is. Like this character would be uh, enveloped inside a giant tree trunk if we had that mod activated right now. <laughs> How you doing, by the way? Oops, that's not the right key. There we go. Hello there, young red god. How would you like to make 306 gold pieces just by performing what I'm told is called the mercenary circles? The old switcheroo. <laughs> well, no thanks, old man. Very well, but lack of ambition may well be your downfall, my young friend. Okay. So anyway, I do think the simple 3D trees mod is very impressive, as is the faithful 3D animals mod, but they do have some slightly unfortunate side effects in some cases, or some reduction of um, diversity of animals uh, in terms of color patterns and whatnot in the case of faithful 3D animals. So. I'm not using those for now. Let's go ahead and try to rappel down here. <laughs> um, anyway, but there was a mod that I had recently installed called Fixed Desert Architecture, and it is pretty impressive, but it did interact problematically with some of my other mods, such as Transparent Windows, and I ultimately decided that it was changing some things too much. I want to keep this experience largely still a vanilla experience. Despite the fact that I've upgraded graphics and music and so forth, I still want the overall appearance of things and the way most things work to be pretty close to vanilla Daggerfall. Anyway, I'll tell you more about that in a moment. For now, we're going to spend a little time here in the Mages Guild. How are you doing, sir? Any news? Let's be polite. There's an orc community in Krasgar that's been bothering Mushur. Ah, that's related to the quest I accepted. Alright, thank you. We should probably find someone who can sell us some spells. Well, hi there. It's always good to meet another member of the Mage's Guild. Any news? Krasgard was, I think, an orc temple years ago. Now they're bringing it back. <laughs> Can I buy some spells? Now let's just double check. What I currently have is just these three starting spells. Shock, Chameleon, Slow Falling. So let's go ahead and remedy that. Hmm. disease, yes. We have over 5,000 gold, so we're in good shape. Cure poison. Free action, definitely. Hmm. Heal. Perhaps invisibility. Jumping and levitate. Ah, light. Interesting. 
I'm not 100% sure what this does. I'll have to look up some of these later. Open spell, definitely. Recall, of course. And in this game, Recall includes both the Mark and Recall aspects as one spell. And if you're not familiar at all, that is a teleportation spell, uh, where you anchor a spot, and then you can teleport back to that spot, but only one spot. Now, in some later games, such as Morrowind, that is divided into a Mark spell for setting the anchor, and then a recall to go back to it. I wonder why some of these are cut off. Shalador's Mirror. Hmm. And Sphere of Negation. Interesting. Feel fatigue, sure. Water breathing, water walking. Comprehend languages. I assume that in the base game, this simply helps you to perhaps have a better chance of pacifying enemies. Pacifying animals might be nice, too, perhaps at some point. Not a high priority right now, though. Hmm. So it shows here, whether it's by touch, or in the case of Fireball, area at range. Let's go ahead and get Frostbite. Fireball, sure. Also, be single target at range and area around caster. Now, things affecting undead would definitely be appropriate for one of the Ashabah tribe, but uh, I don't want to spend too much of the rest of my gold. recall what the shadow form is all about. I'll have to look that up as well. Work strength might come in handy at some point. Spell Reflection and Absorption can certainly be extremely useful. Um, they do cost a lot of Magicka, however, so for now I might hold off on those.
Yeah, so I think we have enough for now. Well, let's see, maybe Feet of Nor <laughs> Feet of Nortorgo. Fortify speed. Yeah, that could come in handy sometimes too. Yeah, maybe Charisma. Okay, now we're getting low on gold. So that's definitely good for now. In fact, we do want to have some left over for training. And where is the trainer? Hello there. I love the ones that wink at you. Whoops. Excuse me, good sir. Daedra summoning, eh? No offense, but I can only assist certain high-ranking members. Very well. Hello there. I'm afraid I can only help persons of a certain rank. Teleportation, that's cool. I forgot that was even an option in this game. We're getting some slight performance hits. Not quite sure what that's all about. I think uh, sometimes these interior spaces can have a lot going on with the particular mods I have installed. Here we go. Yes, let's have some training in... Restoration, please. You and the trainer practice for three hours. The trainer tells you to reflect on what you've learned and see if you can put it to good use. Beautiful. Now then, if we look at our logbook, here's the quest. I have 41 days to slay an orc shaman in Krothsgard and then get to Mushur's palace in Isfir. He will pay me my 323 gold pieces for the shaman's death. Now, while we're on the way, we'll make a little stop at the sacred tree of Arke. That's a place we have visited in the last video, the last couple of videos actually, and The reason why I want to come here again is because I just wanted to show an example of something that will look very different now that I no longer have the fixed desert architecture mod installed. Now one thing you can see out here in the exterior is a lot of these buildings will have roofs that are perhaps more in kind of a Breton style. and. That was part of the inspiration for the Fixed Desert Architecture mod, was to have more of these buildings have a flat top and feel a little more appropriate to the desert. Um, but also certain interiors, such as these temples, uh, were radically changed. So this temple, as you may recall before, it had many more windows, it had a statue up here on this um, pedestal and things were just arranged a little bit differently here. Um, and in this room, there was a fancy painting on the wall and some other fancy decorations. There was also meant to be a stairwell leading down into a basement where you could visit um, some sarcophagi, <laughs> some, you know, a kind of a burial space underneath the temple. Now, that area was kind of bugged based on my combination of mods. Uh, it seems to be a combination of having the transparent windows mod with the fixed desert architecture seem to cause issues for me. It might also depend on whether or not you're using the dream mod. I'm not 100% sure about that. But in any case, that was part of what prompted me to think maybe I don't need to have that mod installed. Also, as I said earlier, I kind of like the idea of just 
even if it is slightly more boring, I like the idea of just having an experience that's closer to the original. So we now have things arranged as they would have been normally. And yes, for now, this is what I prefer. <laughs> um, I think we might have a trainer here as well. Excellent. Can you please train me in Critical Strike? All right. So there we go. And now we can move along. We only have 81 gold pieces left to our name, so hopefully we'll find some good loot while we're here at this interesting place called Kraths Guard. Quite a ruined place, apparently. There's one entrance, might be multiple entrances. Maybe not. Let's go ahead and save. And here goes nothing. cast our handy new recall spell. Oh, first of all, let's sort this list. Great. You can have it sorted alphabetically if you hit sort again. Then you can have it sorted according to casting cost. But I think I want alphabetical. Anchor. Beautiful. Uh-oh. We've already attracted some attention. Who is this? Monk. Oh yeah, we should light a torch. That's much better. I wonder if we will see many orcs or just the one orc shaman. Prayer beads in a small statue. Monk, huh? These people don't look very much like monks. But I'll take the game's word for it. Katana is of high enough material value to hurt in him. I don't think it will hurt vampires or certain other types of creatures, but uh, imps it will. Let's take a look at this dungeon so far.
getting a little low on health. power unfortunately. Well, let's go ahead and kick the door down. Thanks to the Mighty Foot mod, I can kick without having to unequip my weapon. To be honest, we were a bit aggressive there before we even confirmed that they were being aggressive with us. Uh, we'll just pretend that, uh, no, we, we knew. We knew that that was an enemy. Mission recipe. Big, big tooth, elixir vitae, to cure disease. Strange cultists are these. I'm a little surprised by the occasional slowdown I'm getting, I apologize for that. Normally I get better performance than this with my lovely little gaming laptop playing this game, but uh, Today it's having a slight amount of difficulty, uh, just occasional hiccups. So I hope that won't bother anyone too much. If that keeps happening over a long period of time, I might look into what I can do to boost performance or, you know, in one way or another. Avoid those uh, frame rate drops.
Okay. Nothing here. Starting to get a bit encumbered, we better go back and drop off some stuff into our wagon. Interesting place. savory looking room. You never know when clicking something might activate a trap or a secret door.
Hmm. Ah, uh, here you are. I do believe you are the one I'm here for. Well, it's a good thing we saved. Oh my goodness. So we checked out this room. Oh yeah. Did he cast a lightning spell there? He's getting me with something. So we got rid of the healer. Now for the orc. This guy's powerful. Now is when I wish I could have some convenient spell reflection, or at least more spell resistance, or spell absorption, something like that. Probably alerted to our presence before I even made that quick save. Oh man. Yeah, he's got some powerful magic. Just gonna have to save scum here for a while. Maybe try a few different things and hope I get lucky. Wow. He accidentally killed his healer friend that time too. Hello. I'll see you there. What's it gonna be? Okay, you killed your friend. Just don't kill me, please. Got him. Beautiful. Okay. Giant's blood, mummy wrappings. Potion of slow falling. Okay. Perhaps we'll poke around a tiny bit more. Whoa, hello pig. Very nice. Hey, 
and we've leveled up. question is, if we were to reload that reason to save, could we get more points perhaps to spread around? Probably could. I know some people think it's cheesy to kind of save scum like that, but uh, I don't think it's such a bad thing. Health went up to 76. Let's see. 57 this is not bad, not bad. Of course I should have saved before. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. This time we get six points, beautiful. Health went up to 75, so very close to what we had last time, that's good. Endurance up to 70, that's very nice. I don't remember for sure if this has an effect on how much health you gain each level the way it does in Arena, maybe not. So I'm probably putting more in Endurance than I really need to, but okay, that, that's fine. Um, it's still nice to have that up to 70, and next time I'll focus on something else, maybe Agility, Strength, etc. We'll see. for you. So, do we continue dungeon delving? I think we've probably gotten about as much as we care to from this place, and probably seen most of it. Let's go ahead and move on. You pass a toppled column and a row of fallen columns. <laughs> okay.
Well, let's go ahead, double check our logbook. We want to go to Isfajir, or Isfajir, however you want to pronounce that. Right there. Staying at inns along the way for free as a member of a knightly order. Greetings. Good day, Nazim. Any news? You might be interested to know that the mixture is Amara has just allied with Hervias. Okay. Yes, Fayur. One part in ten of all food entering this town must be turned over to Queen, so that His Grace does not suffer from the famine. Alright, okay. Very interesting use of pronouns there. Let's see... Reaching into your pack for something to eat, you spy a note. It wasn't there before. Now, what on earth is that? Letter from Morgaya, Princess of Wayrest. Dear Nazim, my eyes and ears abroad say that you are interested in the fate of a certain letter. Any emperor should not be so careless, nor should a queen. You really should come visit me in Castle Wayrest. I have some most interesting tidbits that I'm sure you would enjoy hearing. Morgaya, Princess of Wayrest. Cool. The plot thickens. We have some camels, some horses, some pigs. And, you know, going back to what I was saying earlier, the Faithful 3D Animals mod, it really is impressive. Uh, but I do want to see it have even more variety and more completeness, I guess you could say. And the same goes for the Simple 3D Trees mod. Um, I also hope they'll be a little more careful with the Trees mod at not having the tree models be a little bit too big to the point that they sometimes cover up things, hide things that they shouldn't be hiding. So, anyway. But I don't mean to be overcritical. You know, it's great to, uh... It's great to have options like those mods, and uh, I appreciate all the hard work that all the different modders put into their work. So we have a Fighter Trainers. Interesting. Hi there. I am desperate. The Dark Brotherhood has taken my child Savia, and will kill her if I do not pay a ransom. I do not have enough to buy her freedom, but I can pay you 104 gold pieces if you will free her. Oh my goodness. Well, I wasn't planning to take on another quest, but this is something that Nazim al Ashabab cannot ignore. Yes. You are my savior. My name is Maiv. Hmm, interesting. Quickly now, for you only have 15 days before they kill Savia. She's being held in the Copperfield residence in Akakbi. All right. Congratulations, Nazim. Because of your outstanding weaponry prowess, we have promoted you to the rank of swordsman in the guild. Among other benefits, this increase means cheaper weapon repair and more profitable work assignments. Great. Any news? The vampires are not just mindless monsters. The clans meet in secret and plot to control all of mankind. I fear that is true. Well... Let's see... Most of our equipment is still in pretty good condition. I don't think I need to repair anything right now. Let's go ahead and find this person. Is it someone in the palace, presumably? 
Oops. Mushur's palace, yep, in the sphere. So let's go ahead and find the palace and then hopefully we can quickly rescue that young child. That might be the palace, I'm not sure. Guess I might as well ask around. Torch flickers and dies, okay. Excuse me, um... Do I not have a way of asking about the palace? There we go. I don't understand, is that supposed to mean something to me? That's someone else, Nazim, I'm running late myself. Okay, fine. She doesn't seem to know. You there, good sir. Good day to you, Nazim. Begging your pardon, but that's such a stupid question. I don't think I should have to answer. What? Of course I know what the palace is, but I don't want to tell the likes of you. Okay, nice folk. You, ma'am. Try southeast of here, I think. I guess I can tell you, it's awfully close by. It'd be best if I marked Palace on your map. There we go. Yeah, sometimes if they're willing to give you information, if you talk to them a few times, you'll get it marked. Sure enough, there it is. Great. Now, let's maybe check out a shop or two on the way there. than many. Okay. Come on. So I think we want to find a place that not quite so nice to get better prices. Stranger. So this seems to be a library. Megar's equipment. Better appointed than many. Hmm. So maybe slightly above average. I love these transparent windows. Well, we might want to hold off until we can find it. Shop that'll give us better prices. I can still see what they have for sale.
champion clothes, fox and sword, emperor's medicines, superior retail store, bank of sentinel, champion metalsmith, queen's bookstore. By the way, banking is one of those things I still have not really played around with much in this game. Is for your alchemistry. Is for your weaponsmith. The knave and bird. The restless skull. Well, let's check out this place first. The champion clothes. Better appointed than many. Hmm. Yep, pretty impressive selection. Practical and straightforward. Adequate construction. Okay, we'll get good enough prices here that we might as well sell a few things. Dragon scales. Giant's blood, mummy wrappings, loot tendrils, small tooth and pure water. Quite the collection. Okay, alright. Hmm. Sound and functional, but a little more than that. Pretty good. Try to sell a bunch of stuff here. Maybe check out what you have for sale first. Good to stock up on those. Not bad. I don't think we have anything left to sell. Oh, couple. Okay. Our old greaves and a steel left pauldron. It's a little unfortunate that we didn't go back to uh, pull out my old iron cuirass and some other items from that dungeon, but uh, it's no big deal. Time is often more valuable than money. Hi there. I don't think we have anything to sell this guy.
Okay. That'll do it for selling things, so let's go ahead and just proceed to the palace. Oh, don't mind, at least marking a few places on the map. Maybe, maybe we'll glance in here. Now, this place might take a few things that I couldn't sell before. Yep. Nice. Good day to you. Sense and soft music. All right, this place is very fancy. Greetings, greetings. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, what? <laughs> oh no! Something strange has happened. This might be a bug related to the uh, Transparent Windows mod. So that's a bit unfortunate. Oh my goodness. We haven't saved in a while, so... I'll tell you what. We are going to have to do something... A bit desperate. First let's create a new save, just in case. I think we're just gonna have to cast recall. Oof, that really is unfortunate. Let's try a couple of other things first. Um, let's see here. might just use TCL, toggle no clip. Console commands can be helpful for situations like this. Okay. There we go. Good old console commands. Never leave home without them. And now I'll save again. So here we have the palace. Hello, horsey. music. Greetings. The whining peasants who work my land near the hold of Nukta have long complained about evil wizardry being practiced in that dungeon. It appears that this time they may be right. I am in need of an assassin with enough time to travel to the hold of Nukta and destroy the necromantic sorcerer there. I am prepared to pay 317 gold pieces for this service. Are you interested? Well, normally I would be, but I am needed elsewhere. Really? I would have thought this was your sort of an assignment. How inconvenient. Ah, hello there. We see Mushur. Greetings to you, Nazim. 
First-rate job with that stinking, rancid shaman. How dare they set up one of their cannibal temples in my land. The leaderless rabble should be easier to deal with now. Here's your 323 gold pieces. Go wild. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Anything else to say? Well, apparently not. Any other interesting folk about? Oh, hello there. There's a nightmare stalking the streets of Isfier. They're calling him the Isfier Slayer, and so far no one can tell me if he's a man or a beast. One of my finest sages, Clort, is examining the bodies of the victims, but he has begun getting disturbing letters and frankly fears for his life. I need someone to investigate his findings, to see if his fears are justified. Will you help me in this Nazim? I will offer you 274 gold pieces in return for the retirement of the Isfier Slayer. Well, this sounds interesting as well, but again, Nazim has already committed to helping this young child, which is the uh, last thing I'll do in this video today. So we'll have to say no. It's very sad. Very sad to pass up on that interesting quest. Not an uncommon response. Then I have little choice but to call on some of my less savory contacts for help. An option I was hoping to avoid. Well, I am very sorry, sir. And may I say so. Excellent taste. Excellent fashion. Um... Who else do we have? Hi there. If you have a couple days to spare and wouldn't mind being 278 gold pieces richer, I have a mission requiring some speed and delicacy. No thank you. Gosh, everyone here is handing out quests left and right. No, I wasn't expecting you to turn down 278 gold for a few days' work. How many peasants would murder for that kind of money? Ah oh, well, your life I suppose. That'll do it. That's probably all there is to see here. So this final quest, Copperfield Residence in Akakbi. And let's not be making any immature jokes about this name, folks. Well, first things first. Do I want to bother checking anything else out here? Nah, probably not. There we go. Three days. And now, we had best be cautious if the Dark Brotherhood are not to be trifled with, and they might already know that we are on their trail, meddling in their affairs. So we want to find Copperfield residence. Hmm. Excuse me, man. Uh, just a quick question. Can you tell me? Do you know? Does the name Savia mean anything to you? Why the hell would I want to give you directions, Nazim? Wow. Yikes. We have all these residences. I don't think I'll be able to spot it just by checking the buildings, but it's possible. Excuse me. 
Copperfield residence. I guess I can tell you it's that way northwest. Can you be more specific? Let me show you on, the, on your map. Okay. So now we've got it marked right there. Beautiful. Copperfield residence is dark and ominous. It is certain that enemies lurk everywhere. Excuse me, ma'am. Well met, stranger. Any news? The Dark Brotherhood has gone too far this time. Kidnapping my Eve's child is unforgivable. By the way, the reason why I laughed at this name earlier was, of course, because it seems very similar to Maik. Maiv, that's a very cool name. Um, yeah, I agree, they have gone too far. Now, what are you doing here, and... Um, are you also a prisoner of theirs? Oh, hello! Are you here to rescue me? My name is Savia. I don't like these people. Please take me back to my family. Will do. So we better save again. Don't crash on this. Come on, what's going on? Ten seconds later. Okay, we reloaded. Let's try that again. An irritated voice hollers, it's open. <laughs> Dark and ominous indeed. Well. Excuse me again. I'm going to ask you for uh, any news once more. R.K. bless Mushur and Queen Akarithi, and that unknown Redguard soldier. Yes, indeed. Are you here to rescue me? Yes, indeed. Quick save worked. And actually, just in case, let's do that save as well. Okay. Kind of curious to see what kinds of assassins we have here. There's somebody. Dark Brotherhood indeed. You don't seem so fearsome so far. Not for the likes of Nazim al Ashabah, sword singer of legend. Okay, I take it back. Maybe you're pretty good. No one messes with the Dark Brotherhood and lives. Are you sure about that? There we go. We better just move on. Do you have anything more to say?
Ruska has ascended to the throne and is the new lord. Long may Ruska rule over Dragontail Mountains. Okay. Well then. He to return to the fighter trainers in this figure. Right. Three days. It's kind of a cute little image they have for her there in the side. <laughs> now, let me see, where is... Ah. To the north. The Dancing Scorpion. The White Skull. Excuse me. <laughs> I believe I have some very good news for you. Savya, you are alive and well. Nazim, I owe you a debt that can never be fully repaid. This modest reward is the least that I can give you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so that will probably do it for now. The malicious, downright slanderous rumors about me must cease and desist immediately. I need someone anonymous to trace these rumors back to their infernal source. Would this much gold buy your investigative skills? Uh, no thank you. I guess you heard the one about me not keeping my promises. Damn lies. <laughs> wow. I guess I'd forgotten how quick so many people are in this game to offer you quests. Especially if you have even the slightest bit of positive reputation with their, uh, you know, with their factions. So, uh, perhaps I shouldn't be talking to people quite so readily. Um, anyway. I am going to go ahead and sell a few things, but I won't make you uh, deal with the boredom of watching all that again. So for now, we will call it good. So thank you very much for watching. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see more, and uh, consider supporting me at patreon.com slash thedrake. That helps support not only my video production, but also my game development. I'm an indie game developer under the name Golden Drake Studios. And I would very much appreciate your support. And uh, I will have more info about that in the near future um, in terms of my uh, game development projects. But anyway, please do take excellent care of yourself and everyone around you. I'll see you next time.